So this is our beautiful new flagship in West Hollywood. It's stepping into the future. This is the Orb. It looks very cool, but it's basically just a fancy camera that's able to look at you and tell whether you're a real human or not. You heard that right. In a world of deep fakes and online bots snagging the best deals, this shiny chrome white ball or camera could help prove that you're a human. That's the concept behind World, an open infrastructure co-founded by Sam Altman of OpenAI and architect of ChatGPT. We wanted a way to make sure that humans stayed special and central in a world where the internet was going to have lots of AI-driven content. Tiago Sada is the chief product officer at Tools for Humanity. It's called World App. The primary contributor to World. You can simply say here, you want to verify your World ID. So tap on that. It looks like something out of an episode of Netflix's Black Mirror. And I had my doubts, but I tried it. You first have to download an app. It'll take a picture of your face and your eyes. Show the QR code. So you, you just look at the golden dot. Then the photo and eye scan. All right, so it's all set. And so now here on your phone, it's telling you the orb is right now verifying your humanity. The data is then sent to your phone. The idea is that it can be used on dating apps, video games, or when buying concert tickets, proving that it is in fact a person, not a machine. AI is amazing, right? We now get to do many things that we couldn't do before. But one of the problems is that when everything can be faked, we don't know who and what to trust. More than 12 million people have already done this. And I'm one of these people that I just get so frustrated with passwords all the time. I have like a zillion passwords. If I could do it just once, my face, I'm done. And in exchange, you could, um, I you could, could claim, claim my money. Yes, exactly. Those of us who do it get paid in a cryptocurrency called WorldCoin. Uh, so it's worth $35.17. Yes, and it goes up and down depending on uh, how people do it. In the future, Tools for Humanity hopes to charge a small fee to the website or companies that use it to verify their customers. But right now, it's not making any money. Another possible roadblock, privacy concerns. And so what's really going to be key is how is that data held? How is it stored? How is it transferred? Is it deleted immediately? World says that anyone who does this, including me, can delete the information at any point. Okay, what is the, the privacy aspect of it? I know they mentioned that they delete it off their platform, but it's always going to be like something to wonder about. And governments in some countries where it's rolled out have already banned or imposed fines on the tech, saying it runs afoul of local data privacy and currency regulations. On Monday, a court in Kenya giving world seven days to delete the biometric data gathered from its citizens. Tools for Humanity says it's engaging with regulators worldwide and is working through the challenges and will keep building. Adding, pioneering technologies always face regulatory scrutiny. It's part of meaningful innovation. At the end of the day, you only have two eyes and one face, so we have to make sure we protect that. But the startup claims we might just need it, because the future isn't just knocking, it's staring us down. And Camila Bernal joins us now from Los Angeles. Camila, I saw the different countries in your piece where this has been rolled out. Other than L.A., where you tried it out, where else in the United States can people try this? Yeah, so SF opened last week. You saw L.A., and then Miami opens up actually tomorrow. Then they'll, they're going to have stores in Atlanta and Nashville and Austin. But the idea is to have these cameras be sort of ATM machines. You can go up to them in stores or anywhere where they are and just show up and identify yourself as a human, Allison. So once people have scanned and given this new form of ID, what can they do with it on World's app? Yeah, so if you want to play a video game and you want to know that you're playing against a human, you can verify yourself through the app. If, for example, at some point Taylor Swift wants to make sure that it's all her fans and not bots that are trying to buy her concert tickets, then they could use the technology or say you're flirting with someone on a dating app. Well, you want to make sure you're actually flirting with a human and not a robot. So all of these will be used in the future. At least that's what this company hopes to do so that you can really distinguish yourself from the very intelligent Internet. A fascinating look into the not so distant future. Camila Bernal in Los Angeles. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.